So working from home can be a challenge, especially if you're not used to it. And right now, many of us are doing that. And if you've got kids or family or flatmates around, it can be quite challenging when you're trying to use the phone or video call and you're getting interruptions and lots of noise in the background. So I developed this really simple hack that kind of allows people to see that you're on the phone and hopefully not disturb you. So let's have a look at what I've done. So this is the base of my project. It's based on the Arduino guide to uh, getting started. And there's one project in there called Space Interceptor. And this is it here. And basically what it does is the green light is always on. And then when you press the button, the red lights will flash. So that basically says, I'm on the phone. And when the switch is released, it goes back to, I'm available. So I've been looking through my box of bits and I found these uh, these bigger LEDs. So what I'm going to do is put two or three of those together. And I've also got uh, some plastic cups of some toy I think my kids had. Um, I've got a couple of those. I've got a clear one and I've got a red one. So I think what I'll do is I'll have a bunch of LEDs underneath the clear one uh, for green and then... Same for the red, I'll put a bunch of reds underneath there and I'll put them, I guess, side by side, um, mount them on something and then I'll create some kind of switch as well. So that'll be my next thing to look at. So this is the finished result. This is my totally over-engineered, I'm on the phone light, please don't disturb solution. And uh, let's show you how it works. So currently Kermit is sitting on the green position. So you can see here, the other side of the door, that the light is green. That means you can come in. And then if I now close the switch and move Kermit down to the bottom here, that now activates the red flashing signal, which is basically, please don't disturb me, I'm on the phone. So very simple hack, say so totally over-engineered for what it is, uses some very simple code and has been inspired by one of the projects in the uh, Arduino Getting Started book. So have a go yourself, find things from around the house and use some very simple bits out of the Arduino kit and uh, you're good to go.